Hello, this is Slip here with another video. <clears throat> In this video, I will be showing you how to check all connections you currently have through your network, network mainly being your internet. This is through a program called netstat.exe and it is run through your command prompt, also known as CMD. So first, we're going to go to, and this is also on Windows 10, by the way. It also works with previous Windows as well. Um, so yeah, first we're going to go to this little um, magnifying glass in the bottom left-hand corner by your Windows icon. Click on that. And then in the search bar, we're going to type in CMD with no spaces. Now, a lot of times they uh, do a protection on your command prompt because you can do a lot of things um, that are not good through your command prompt because it has direct access to all your files. So to make sure that we have the appropriate um, permissions to do this, we're going to right click on that before we get started and click Run on Administrator. It's going to it's going to ask you to verify that. You just click Yes. Um, I have this uh, set to red text. Let me actually change that to yellow so that you guys can see more clear of what I am doing. Um, so first we're gonna we're gonna type in um, netstat and forward slash question mark and that's gonna bring up um, all of the options all of the uh, protocol for the command and today we're gonna be focused on the B command it displays the executable involved in creating each connection or listening port in some cases well-known executable computables host multiple independent components and in this these cases the sequence of components involved in creating the connection or listening port is displayed in this case the executable name is going to be within brackets at the bottom and on the top the component is called so anyway um, basically it's very simple you just type in net slat, net stat and then dash and we're gonna do B and click enter now what this brings up is um, it brings up <laughs> and by the way Josh sucks <laughs> it brings up all of the connections that are made through executable uh, programs um, Avast which is uh, virus scanner which connects the internet and viral uh, and as you can see this is so okay so it shows all these okay so for example what we're going to do is is we're going to open up Mozilla Firefox the internet whatever your internet browser is and we're going to go to Facebook well no no that's a bad idea we're going to go to Reddit okay so Reddit pops up that's cool your browser is open okay so what we're going to do is is we're going to we're going to type in uh, uh, CR, uh, CSL no or you know never mind uh, yeah, CLS type in CLS it'll clear the screen for you uh, then type in netstat.b again and you can see here that um, the there's several new connections and the connections are through Firefox so as you can see um, when you open up a new executable program or a new e executable uh, it will show up in the list so um, there's that now what we're going to do is, is we're going to close out of Firefox and do this again. <laughs> For some reason it's going crazy. <laughs> uh, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, but um, you can do this with pretty much, uh, yeah, we're going to do another netstat slash b just to show you that it's closed. And it, it is closed. Um, so yeah, th the reason why this is important is because when you get a Trojan, uh, or something of the like, um, it creates a server on your computer and it's client side. Um, once it's within your computer, it will either manipulate your firewall or shut it down so that it can't operate, and it will send an outgoing, uh, outgoing information to the server, which is what they use to manipulate and infiltrate your computer. So if you can alienate all the different possibilities that are being executed you can you can tell um, which program is trying to reach out so that they can connect to your computer and take advantage so 
obviously, you know, like you can look through it and you can tell like a vast is okay, you know, Firefox is okay, whatever. But if there's something that looks misleading or out of place, then typically it's probably malware or something of the like. So um, that's pretty much going to wrap up my tutorial for this. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little trick. Uh, I do plan on having more tutorials in the future, and I hope you guys like this. Um, please subscribe and leave comments and like my stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, have a great evening. <laughs>